how dejected all of you lot were. I uh, can't be fucking bothered to clap. Come on the stage and tell some jokes, you prick. A lot of people always asking, what is it like being a comedian? Uh, so I'm going to take you through uh, my sets tonight. I've got four different sets. Um, so I'm going to take you around, going to follow me around and see what it's like, uh, how it happens. Uh, a little bit of, I don't know, you might see some of the bits as well, if we think they're good enough. Harris probably might go, bro, that weren't funny, you know. That weren't funny, bro. So I might not put him in. But yeah, just follow me around. So we're going to go after the first one. We are going to be at 99 Club's gig in O'Neill's on Wardour Street. And then we're off to the Strand Palace Hotel for 99 Club's other two gigs and then late night i'm doing a gig at 10 p.m yeah it's pretty late called late night scene at a boulevard theater in soho so busy night i get hungry halfway through these things as well so i just went mcdonald's and got myself some vegan dippers obviously vegan gang v v gang that's why harris got a v in his name anyway off to, off to the gig number one Bro, don't let them get onto you about being hench, you know, man. Nah, no, cause like, you work for that shit, bruv. Like, punch him in the face, bruv. Like, what's he gonna do, bruv? Right? Nah, you, you're hench, what do you eat, kids? <laughs> nah, like, what, like, just small ones, innit? Like, he's like, yeah, only toddlers, innit? Like, only... It's cool, I, I, love, I love the way he asked you how long you've been with her, innit? Like, and you were like, oh, a long time. Cause you, you don't measure time in time, innit? You measure it in sets, innit? Like, uh, <laughs> So like, yeah, what is it? I, I did chest about five times, yeah, so. It was a, it was a Monday, innit? Hey, what's your name, bro? Gabs. Gabs. Fucking hell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, now I see why you're so hench, bro, right? You have to bang people up, innit, for the. I don't know why people just don't take me seriously, bro, right? <laughs> I need something that's gonna make me look intimidating, bro. <laughs> Respect, bro, because you can punch me up, so... Uh, I'm not going to make any more jokes about you now, bro, right? Yeah, just... Let's go! So that was all right. Uh, now we've got to get up, head off to the next gig straight away. We've got 10 minutes to get to the next gig, so... Let's roll! Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm just being amazing right now. I'm in London. Um, this is nuts though, like imagine if you're just doing this by yourself a lot of the time, it's so boring because you're just like, uh, fuck, go get to the next one. He did. <laughs> Wait, are you together? Wait, are you the son? Are you the son? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I thought you were gay. Like, I, I, I... <laughs> Cause you two look like bears and shit. Hey, uh... <laughs> I thought you just went in for a younger version of yourself. You were like, <laughs> well, he looks good enough. Um, reminds me of me. <laughs> he called you straight away. I thought he, you didn't. Why did you call? What that night? I ran after her. Bro, this is sounding a bit Me Too-ish right now, right? Uh, I ran after her in the street, grabbed her arm, told her you're coming back with me. Uh, what, literally like that? Well, not quite as aggressive as that. <laughs> yeah, because you're not a bad man. Like, uh... <laughs> no, I'm joking. He grabbed you in the street? He, used to, he ran after me in the street, yeah. Oh my God, look at him channeling Donald Trump. Like, uh... <laughs> he ran after you in the street, where was this? Where? Yeah. In Finchley. In Finchley. That is like the poshest place to run after. Excuse me. Excuse me. Fair maiden. I was wondering if one could be in your company this evening. Do you have a telecommunications device that one could contact you on? Uh, so far, like, what was his line? 
Can I have a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> what she look like? MS? Like, uh, what? Should she have sandwiches with her? She was a sandwich lady. You went out with a dinner lady. Is this what you're saying? Right? Like, you were a sandwich lady where? I used to sell sandwiches. You used to sell sandwiches? <laughs> what, just the on the roads? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like some weird drug dealer. Like, what do you want, bro? Like, yeah. I got ham, you know. Like, I got ham, I got pickles. Could I have a BLT? Oh. Uh, it's, nice, it's nice to meet you, bro. Uh, nice to look at you. Uh, you here for Valentine's, yeah? My guy, my guy, yeah? Secure the thing, yeah? Uh, no, I just imagine that's how gym guys speak, innit, right? So, it's, how much you bench? I don't care, really, but like, uh, that's what you ask them, innit? Like, yeah. Do you squat? No, fuck legs. Does he squat? He's got a cute little bum, innit? Like, that's what he got with him, innit? You're half the size of him, bro. Look at you man spreading, like, so she can't even sit properly, like. <laughs> yeah, she, you can't even sit properly. Look at her, yeah, fucking hell, I didn't want to say anything, but look. <laughs> now you've mentioned it, he's a bit, a bit disrespectful, isn't he? <laughs> I don't know why you all have the same accent in my head, but fuck it, right? Like... What was your highlight from number three? I think I loved a bit when the um, woman started screaming out and then <laughs> I didn't really like insult her or anything in it, but it was yeah. just a nice, funny way to like let her know, like, I'm in charge. Yeah, like, the way <laughs> see what happens when you talk. <laughs> nah, you, I respect you in it. Like, you thought, you know what, fuck it, I got courage. I'm gonna shout some shit out, right? <laughs> like, it sounded good in your head, didn't it? <laughs> Like, it, it bypassed the bullshit filter. <laughs> You're like, fuck it, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> you said it and nothing happened. Like, <laughs> no one understood a fucking thing you said. <laughs> and they're like, I wish she died. Uh, nice funny way to let her know I'm in charge kind of thing. And then everybody was on my side. And the fact that when I was like, I gotta go now, someone was like, oh no. That's, that's a good sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's sick. That's like, you know, like, but, so a lot of that stuff is I'm going to put in a talk. Like those jokes. So you're just testing them and yeah, seeing how yeah, it works. Yeah. So see, it helps when you're doing them like over and over, just so it gets in your mind that you get how they work in different rooms, like bigger rooms, smaller rooms, because people don't understand all that stuff's got an effect on it. And also, when you do things like this, like gradually I'll be bringing newer material in from my tour that I'm going to do. So you only get 20 minute sets, but at the end of the day, what you can do after that is you could bleed in other jokes in. So then yeah. the 20 changes, but what you get is you know it works because you're doing it in a club environment. So when it comes to doing your hour, it's tight. It's tight as hell. So yeah. re the comedy reflexes kick in, you know, which jokes to come back with. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then, of course, it's always fun playing around with a crowd as well at times. This is the grind that goes on behind the scenes when someone's, when you see a comedian on tour or whatever, like it's not even People are just like, oh, did they just come up with that off the top of their head? It's not like that. Like the thing is, right? Of, yeah. When when I watch you and I feel the way you like interact with people, yeah. and then someone says something to you, and you just come back and just like, yeah. You know, yeah. You, you cut them off or you say something to make the crowd like laugh at them. Yeah. After watching it like three, four times, I understand that you had to like practice that so hard. Yeah, like, and the thing is as well, it doesn't come... It looked natural, but yeah. obviously it wasn't because you had to practice it a hundred times. Yeah, well, you, it's also about being comfortable in yourself on stage and being very comfortable um, with what you're going to say and the joke that you're going to tell. So if, if, I, if I believe in what I'm saying, then people are going to believe me. Yeah. But if I sound very shaky about it, people are going to be like, he's not even sure in himself. Like, so Peter, how, how, how is anybody meant to respect you when you can't, yeah, yeah. Inspire them in a sense. Wait, is this the stage? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, this one's a nice event. This is cool. They asked me who I'd kind of want on the lineup and stuff. And we've got Ishan Akbar, Tali Moore. And Luis Agola, so it's an ethnic ass lineup. Yes. What are you recording everything? I did, I'm, it's my fourth gig, so I'm doing a little. Oh, 
Oh, okay. What's happening, man? I didn't greet you, bro. I know, man. What are you doing? I miss you. Yeah, how you doing? Good. This is gig three. This is gig four for me. Gig four. It's just people I really like and respect as well in the game. Like, people I'm, I'm friends with and stuff. So it's, re it's just really fun to, to have them here with me as well. But yeah, last gig and this one I'm actually hosting. So I don't really need to do that much material. I just like warm up the crowd for the other guys um, so they can enjoy, enjoy their evening. Um, and it's just going to be really fun. I've got a running order here as well. Boom. Boom, bitches. You lot of, you lot of fucking laugh, aren't you? <laughs> that was good. Uh, how long have you known him? Three years. Three years. He's a good guy? Yeah. yeah. And is this your missus? Yeah. Like, uh, what's your name? Lina. Lina. Are you from Europe? <laughs> Colombia. Colombia. How the fuck did you pull her? Like, yeah. <laughs> She's gorgeous, look at you, bro, bro, yeah. Three million views on the weekly. <laughs> Three million, bro. On Facebook. On the Facebook. On the Facebook. <laughs> but yeah, it's fun. I thought you weren't going to turn up. It was like getting back. Like... Nah, man. How shall I introduce you? How do you like? He's, he's, he's a, one of my oldest friends of the business. We do a podcast together. Really, he's a top chip. You know, most comedians say that they're mates. I might go on and say, usually um, people say these comedians are my friends, but... They're actual cunts. Yeah, there isn't one of them. But these guys are actually my friends. So this, this, guy is on, this guy is on release from a sex offenses institute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This guy might be a bit rapey. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what his vibe is today. You know, where, where are you from? UK. No, it's in like area, bro. Fucking hell, like. Isn't, <laughs> this isn't immigration, bro. bro. I'm not gonna, like, UK. <laughs> that is what I've been told to say. I maintain I'm from here. Chessington, what is in the world of adventures? <laughs> are you a laddie? Like, <laughs> you've got two young kids, where are they now? Uh, with their mum. With their mum, okay. So who's this? <laughs> huh? My girl? <laughs> <laughs> so you should make it clear, you're not still married to their mum? Technically I am. <laughs> oh my God, hold on, hold on, what's been going on? Right? What's your name, bro? Sham. The marriage is a sham, that's what the fuck. <laughs> okay, so what, was it was it an arranged marriage? You gotta ask in it, like it's alright, I'm ethnic, I can say it. Uh, <laughs> alright, cool, so how did you meet? No, not you and her, like, I'm on the marriage bit first, bro. You met in McDonald's. No wonder it didn't fucking last, bro, right? Like, how did you approach her at McDonald's? You asked her if she wanted a job, so you're just asking girls, you want business. <laughs> you asked her if you wanted a job in McDonald's. I knew it for a while, working in McDonald's, because I worked downstairs. And then she, I asked her if she wanted a job. And then she said, what? As a housewife? <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, Sham, uh, okay, all right. So how long were you married? Uh, six years. And then what happened? Oh, someone goes, <gasps> That's somebody that's in a six-year relationship that's fucking bricking it right now. They're like, am I near the end? <laughs> you might be. <laughs> Sorry, six years. Yeah. All right, and then... Oh! All this time I'm thinking, you're the bad guy. <laughs> Fuck that bitch, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, four gigs, one night. Um, I hope that gave you a little insight into what my life's like. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. And make sure you like and subscribe. And keep watching. Like and subscribe to Harris World as well. Peace.